Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News episode 42. Thank you for being here and today's episode I'm going to show you guys a cool trick that I learned about a year or so. Uh, I haven't done this for a while. Um, I think on episode 41 I show you guys how to get up and running uh, backtrack on a virtual machine. Uh, again, you could actually install it on a physical machine. And the scenario is basically this. Um, you want to know what's happening or what people are actually doing when they're on your network. Okay, You want to know what kind of websites they're going. Um, you want to see what they're actually doing, what kind of stuff, if they're going into any inappropriate websites. You want to know what's, what's going on. Um, I had to do this in my company with the wireless. I wanted to know what was going on. So there's this cool... Um, backtrack command which is called driftnet okay now driftnet is basically this okay it captures images from network traffic and display them in the next window optionally capture audio streams and play them okay um, driftnet watches network traffic picks out and displays JPEGs and GIF images for display now I'm still working on it. I'm still trying to remember some of this stuff. I'm, I remember part of it. There's another part that you can actually get the information of the, of like the IP address of the machine, of that image. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys how it actually works in real life. So the environment that I have, I have my backtrack machine that I created with you guys in episode 41, and I have this machine right here. I have a a virtual machine of Windows 7. Okay, and both the backtrack and this Windows 7 machine are on the same network, okay? Now, if you go to start menu, which backtrack start menu is a little dragon right here, and you want to go into the backtrack folder and forensics, and again, there's a lot of tools that you can actually use here, but for this episode, I'm going to show you one good trick. Forensics, you want to go to network forensics, and you want to go to driftnet. Now when you click on Driftnet, it opens it up, it gives you a brief explanation of how to use the command. Uh, I created a folder on the desktop. Creating a folder is pretty simple. All you got to do is just right click and create new folder. I gave it the name temp. Now the command that I want to run is Driftnet. Okay. Uh, let me see if I spell it right. Driftnet space. Now I'm not going to get it the dash i interface because the default is all so if I leave if I leave this out um, it's gonna basically read or listen to all the interfaces now if you guys have different subnets most likely you're gonna configure that out and uh, point to that specific subnet or uh, that specific NIC driver or NIC card to listen to um, because this machine right here is in the same network as my backtrack uh, I'm going to leave it as default and it's going to listen to whatever is on the network. Okay, And I'm going to do a dash D, dash D and then the directory. Use the name of the directory. I'm just going to drag and drop this right here and it puts it to root desktop. Okay, Once that's done, you hit enter. When you hit enter, you get this nice little window. And this little window is basically your panel. It basically shows you what's going on. Nothing's really going on. Okay, So if I go here and I click on Chrome, and let's say, I don't know, let's go to my channel, to my YouTube channel. So it's uh, www.youtube.com forward slash Archive Kakashi. Hit enter. And we're in my channel. Okay. And this is going to play. And if I go back to my backtrack, there you go. As you can see, it's actually gathering all the images from the website that I've gone to. So let's say I go to www.yahoo.com and again all the images are being taken from yahoo.com. Now with the directory that I specify within the command right here if you go into the temp you see all the pictures here. Now most likely on the next episode, I I gotta do some research again, guys. I, ha I haven't done this for a while. There's a way to actually have um, information attached to these pictures, and 
you can actually get like the IP address of where the picture came from or the computer name of where the uh, the picture came from I haven't I, I gotta look at my notes you know normally I take notes of this stuff but uh, as you can see Backtrack is doing this thing is gathering all the pictures it's 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 a good feature to have don't get me wrong it's a great feature to have if you gotta have like wireless or you or you like have a specific person that you have doubts on that they've gone into inappropriate sites or doing something crazy hey you can actually listen to their um, IP address and see what they're actually doing behind the scenes I know it's, it's not really um, you're breaking a lot of laws but if you want to protect yourself and your company this is one of the ways and it's free it's there it's easy to use um, that's about it guys Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Please check out my blog at bjtechnews.wordpress.com. As well as you guys have a Twitter, follow me at Twitter at bjtechnews. And please subscribe. Show some love and some support. And I check you guys out the next episode. Thank you so much. Subscribe. Thank you.